Hi, I'm Don, the founder of Tank Tex RX. I wanted you to hear the story of why we put Tank Tex RX in septic tanks. This is my home that I built in 1997, and as you pan around and follow me a little bit, there's five bathrooms total, four ba bathrooms in the house, and then we have my mother-in-law's cottage up here above the house. And if you'll notice the background back here, our soil depth in this part of the country is, in some places, as much as a half an inch. The rest is solid rock. And one of the challenges of building out here on this acreage was the solid rock and a septic tank. So what we did was we put the tank out in the middle of the parking area and we put our leach field, and we can pan down here to the left. This entire area out here is actually the leach field. The leach field is 18 foot deep three holes, 60 foot long, two foot wide, 18 feet deep. From 1997 to 2006, everything ran perfect. In 2006, my system started to back up and we were having sludge in the lines and the leach field had backed up. You can see why, we've got all the, the rock there. It's very difficult to keep things loose enough to keep flowing. So <clears throat> we went to, and dug up our septic tank and I have a uh, lid here that I've been tracking my septic tank with. And you'll see that here, the water level was 42 inches below this height on the 11th of November, 2006, when we had the, when we had the problem. By 2007, August 8th, 2007, it was 51 inches. And then in 2008, it was 55. 2011, it was 55. And we're gonna check it again today to see what it, what it is. But when we, it took some work to find where we, where we had this line, cobwebs. But what changed between 2006 and 2008? Well, the first thing I had to do was I had to have it pumped because it was so bad. This is a 1,500 gallon tank and the truck is a 2,000 gallon truck and he pumped 2,000 gallons out of a 1,500 gallon tank. And we stood here and we could hear the water pouring back in off the leach field. So I knew my leach field was ruined because it wasn't leaching anything. We started putting in hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It was three to $400 per treatment, trying to clean up the leach field and nothing was working. We started using Tank Tex RX for RV holding tanks. And on a Lark, I put in one quart of Tank Tex RX into a system that had been pumped but it did not, it had not been cleaned out or anything. And we knew that the uh, leach fill was plugged up. A year later, I opened it up to dump my son's RV in it. Uh, and we just pulled up here and we dumped it in. And first thing that happened was he said, Dad, why don't I spell your septic tank? I said, you know, I don't. So we checked it and that's when we began, we, when we discovered that the leach field had been cleaned out and it was now functioning. So we have been, keeping Tank Tex RX for septic tanks in it this whole time. And if it is still working, because the last time this hole was checked was um, April 26, 2011, and it's the last markings on this. Oh, and here's another one from April, um, from March 14, 2012. So that's the last time, and it says, that it was 55 from this mark right here. So we're gonna pull out our tape, and I'm not gonna go below 55 because I don't wanna get the tape wet, but if everything is good, this should be uh, 53, 54, 55. All right, we'll go down to 56 just to find out. And we'll bring it back up. Dry, so we're below 6, 56 inches. And so we know that our, that, uh, and I don't think you can see it with the camera because it's too far down, but I can see the water reflection coming back up. So we're going to put a pipe in there and we're going to see how far. And of course, we've done this many times at other locations. So I know what sludge feels like. All right, I'm in the bottom of the tank and I can, right there, it's clear water, clear water, clear water. There's just the loosest bit of sludge right there. So there's probably six or eight inches of sludge in the bottom of the tank. 
that has not been pumped since 2006. Water is fine, and look at the pipe. Look, look at what's coming out. Clear water. Is that impressive or what? That's why we bottle Tank Tech RX for septic tanks, because it works. We recommend what I did, one quart in a empty tank, and we maintain that periodically. We recommend one a year, and it'll keep everything flowing smoothly and keep your, both your lines and your leach fields clean.